Well, good morning and a slight change of focus because later today the Security Council has been called to meet at Russia's request on the Western supply of weapons to Ukraine. But first of all, it's worth remembering that Ukraine has every right to defend itself and it is valid, legal and right that the UK and others support Ukraine to defend itself and by extension to defend the principles of the UN Charter. The real issue, however, is Russia buying weapons from Iran in violation of UN Security Council Resolution 2231. And I'd like to update you on what we know about that. Since August, Tehran has transferred hundreds of UAVs to Moscow, breaking international law. Russia has used those Iranian drones to kill civilians and illegally target civilian infrastructure, wiping out homes, electricity, power supply, schools, hospitals. Russia is now attempting to obtain more weapons, including hundreds of ballistic missiles. In return, in return, Russia is offering Iran an unprecedented level of military and technical support. We're concerned that Russia intends to provide Iran with more advanced military components, which will allow Iran to strengthen their weapons capability. Iran's weapon proliferation poses a real and significant threat well beyond the region to the whole international community and jeopardizes the work of the Security Council, not only on Ukraine, but on many other issues. Russia denies that these are their plans, but they also denied that they were going to invade Ukraine, so we don't take them at their word. Indeed, today the UK Ministry of Defence reported that for the first time in three weeks, there have been reports of attacks by Ir Iranian one-way attack UAVs. If verified, it indicates that Russia has already received a supply of Uran Iranian UAVs of Shahed 131s from Iran. So it is imperative that the truth about Iran's supply to Russia is exposed and is investigated by the UN as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you. Michelle Nichols from Reuters. Um, what is this information based on and do you have any information about the possible supply of weapons or ammunition from DPRK to uh, Russia? Thank you. Uh, so a couple of things to say about that. First, uh, from the UK Ministry of Defence, our reports on the 6th of December, uh, the U Ukrainian general staff reported shooting down 17 UAVs, including 14 Shahed 136s. Uh, and these were f there were further reports again on the 7th of December. Uh, and the last re previous reporting of that, as you know, was on the 17th of November. Uh, and we know Russian stocks are running low. Uh, but also, I think it's worth saying that you know, we have, uh, at similar points before and during this conflict, uh, shared warnings with you of Russian actions uh, and they have turned out to be accurate uh, and we'll continue to press for those. On the North Korea point, uh, we are almost certain that Russia is seeking to source uh, weaponry from uh, North Korea, other heavily sanctioned states as their own stocks uh, palpably dwindle. So two very important points, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.